The Orange Institution was formed in 1795 following the Battle of the Diamond in County Armagh. With an estimated membership of approximately 40,000, the Orange Order is the largest fraternal organisation in Northern Ireland and it remains at the heart of Ulster loyalism. The Order is a male organisation, although there is a small women's institution, and open only to Protestants. Each member joins a local lodge at the invitation of members of that lodge. Then they swear an oath to confirm that they meet the qualifications of an Orangeman as laid down by the Order and are initiated as an Orangeman. For most orange men, parading in public is the focus of their membership, most notably on the 12th of July to commemorate the victory of the Protestant King William III over the Catholic King James at the Battle of the Boyne in 1690. The order has a hierarchical structure, but much of the power is decentralised and practical activity is carried out at a local level. There are about 1,400 private lodges in Ireland each with its own warrant number and its own particular history and character. Lodges are organised around churches, places of residence and workplaces. Some are named after and commemorate individuals, events or groups that have particular local historical bearing. Each lodge has a range of elected officers, worshipful master, deputy master, secretary, treasurer and chaplain. Members meet and pay fees on a monthly basis at an Orange Hall, which may house a number of separate lodges. Allied to the Orange Order is the Royal Black Institution, a more overtly religious offshoot of Orangeism, which is organised into preceptories rather than lodges. A further Protestant fraternal marching organisation is the Apprentice Boys of Derry, an independent group of some 12,000 members who parade in the city of Derry twice a year to celebrate the Protestant siege of Derry in 1689. There are also junior lodges of the Orange Order, which act as an introduction to the culture and traditions of Orangeism for young Protestant males not yet old enough to be considered for the main body of the Orange Order itself. These organisations, which are, by their very nature, exclusive, have long been a source of contention in Northern Ireland. Single identity parades from all sections of the community have been contested for many years here and have occasionally provoked violent responses, as witnessed in recent years across Northern Ireland. It has largely been the parades of these loyalist organisations that have been at the centre of this conflict. The Orange Order, the Royal Black Institution and the Apprentice Boys of Derry are key players in a debate which unmasks the most tribal and divisive elements of our society, whilst to their members they are a cultural and religious manifestation of Ulster Protestantism. The Loyal Orders retain a powerful position in Northern Irish society and a unique capacity to invoke intense reactions from all sections of the community here.